Hey there YouTube, it's Math Blur. Welcome to my fifth of eight videos showing my 2023 spring Facebook purchases. And this video are videos five and six. This is my first of two videos from the one seller. His name is Sean. Um, a, site, a site that I purchase a lot of these cards, it's on Facebook. It's called Baseball Autographs TTM. Think of the word bat, B-A-T. Baseball Autographs TTM. And this person, Sean, um, not sure if they want me to mention their name, but anyway, I purchased quite a few cards from this person, and these were three separate purchases that I made, plus I have more cards to show you from him in the sixth video. I mean, I was determined not to hold back, and I bought a lot of stuff in the spring, so that means I need to cut back and not be so aggressive in the summer. So I bought all 12 of these cards here. for Before shipping, it was under four bucks a card, which... You know, good stuff. 1965, we got Rich Reichardt, which I believe he does sign. But it's a nice looking card with a good auto. Added some 65 Pirates, Bob Veal, Thin Blue Sharpie. We got Dick Schofield, who's no longer with us. And then Steve Blass on his rookie card. It's got a crease up here, but for, you know, like I said, averaging under four bucks, heck yeah. A little non pirate actions. We got Tom Egan. If Pat Rogan is no longer with us or not signed, then hey, that's a finished card. It looks like it's in really good condition. We've got Bob Bailey. I mean, we're just crushing on these 1965s. We've got Ralph Terry. Thank you for that home run that you gave up to Bill Mazeroski in the 1960 World Series. Much appreciated. I honestly did not know that he pitched for the Cleveland Indians. Looks like 65 would have been his first year after being in New York. Okay. And we picked up some Bill Campbells, who had passed on not too long beforehand. Um, we have the Hostess. We got some Senior League baseball cards. And to finish it off, we got the 76. So, yeah, that's, that's nice. That was a really nice 12 cards. I've got 65s and Bill Campbells. Before shipping, it was just under 4 bucks a card. I think those Bill Campbells were 3 bucks a card, if I recall. All right, we got eight cards here, which was just, let's see, about five and a half dollars each on average. These first two cards are huge. These are high numbers. 67 high number pirates are killer for my team sets. This one's beat up pretty bad. What is this, card 562? Yes, 562, and this one looks amazing. This card is in such good condition, it almost unsigned would have made my team set that I've been working on. But I have one that's a little bit better condition, but this one's good. I mean, seriously, I'd pay 25 bucks for that card. If I saw it on a show from someone I, I trust, I would have paid 20 25 dollars for that card. Got Tito Francona on the 67, local guy. Got Grant Jackson. I believe this is actually his second year card. Really strong pitcher for the Pirates. Gary Peters passed. Another Bill Campbell. Yeah, like I said, the Bill Campbells were pretty cheap. I think they were three bucks each. So I did pay up a little bit for those Steve Blasses, but how couldn't I? I know what they were. And also from this seller, I bought 13 cards here. And they're all the same price, and some of them were dual signed. That's awesome. Seriously, that, that's so cool. Not sure if they'll pull it. Lighting's picking up, but he is signed by Scott Northy over here. And I've got these completed, but why? How can't I add a couple more? Seriously. <laughs> Wilbur Wood personalizes. He was a pirate. I love the boyhood photos of the Stars cards, so easy purchase. Ow, Downing is 7 bucks a card. No, seven fifty, I believe, through the mail. Ed Cranepool, I love the inaction cards. Bill Lee on his rookie. It's got a crease, but that's all right. It says rookie. Then on his second year, we got signed Bill Lee and also William Francis Lee. And then Rick Wise, I believe he's seven bucks a card. So there's a boyhood photo of the stars and an inaction. So, dang, <laughs> there's some good cards there. Even if you're not a Pirates fan, I had some other cards that you can probably appreciate. But yeah, the Steve Blass high number there. My gosh, that's a, that's an awesome card right there. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday, and an autograph and or trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.